In this video, I'm going to do a full walkthrough from a customer's viewpoint on buying and using a digital file. This can be helpful for two reasons. Number one, if you're selling digital files, it could be on Etsy or a site like Creative Fabrica, and you don't own a digital cutting machine or a digital laser engraving machine. So this video is going to walk through what an end user actually does when they purchase the digital graphic and use it. Number two, you're thinking of buying a laser cutting machine or a laser engraving machine, and you'd like to see what the process of it actually is. So in this video, I'm gonna do exactly that. Let's jump in. Okay, I'm on a site here called Creative Fabrica, and if you've never heard of this before, I will put a link in the video description below. You can see here there's no prices on Creative Fabrica, but that's because I have the all access subscription. I'll put a link to that in the video description, just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. So if you wind up really falling in love with Creative Fabrica like I have, and you wanna purchase the subscription or any individual design, I would receive a small commission. Uh, I do wanna point out, if you don't have a subscription, you can still buy stuff, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like right here. So here is an example of the wolf design that I really like. And this is regularly $3, and it's 60 cents right now, they have a uh, sale on. And so if you want the full print on demand license, that would be a little bit more. Instead of 60 cents, it would be 78 cents. Now I do want to point out this, what I'm doing in this video is not print on demand. I'm actually creating a physical end product. And what that means is I'm going to put a link to this page as well. This is the, the single sales license. You're allowed to create and download and make physical products with it. So if you're wondering what license you should be using, I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. Okay, so this is the actual design that I'm going to click on. I'm just gonna click on download here, and that will give me an SVG file, which is a scalable vector graphic, a DXF, which is a cutting file, a PNG, an EPS, and a PDF, and all of that included, I'm gonna click the download button. Okay, so I really like this a lot, and I'm gonna use this file, but I'm gonna make one minor modification to it. So I'm gonna open up Inkscape. Okay, so I'm inside of Inkscape, and I'm, I've opened up the SVG file, which is the actual scalable vector graphic. So we can see here, there's all these little nodes, and each of these nodes would be what I'd be using if I was doing a cutting. Now I'm gonna be doing an engraving in this case, so I don't really care about how many nodes there are, I could be editing this in Photoshop. I just happen to like the cleanness of Inkscape. So I'm gonna go in here, edit this node, and I'm actually just gonna remove out this piece up here. I don't really like this. So I'm just gonna click delete, and I'll just highlight it all, click delete, highlight, click delete. So what that does now is it just gives me a clean wolf's head and then I do like the stuff down below. Now I'm gonna be exporting this as a PNG. So I'm, again, I'm not real worried about the nodes, but if you're doing a cut, then you would be worried about the nodes. Okay, so in this case, now I'm gonna click export. So over on the right-hand side, and I can also adjust the di dots per inch. So I'm gonna actually increase that to 300 just to make it a bit more clean. And then from here, I'm going to click the export button down at the bottom. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. This is my actual revised file here. This is my PNG, it's 1268 by 1523. And when I open up the PNG file, we can see that looks pretty good. It's black background for some reason, I don't know why. It might just be my computer. But anyway, the top here looks really good. So I'm happy with that. And now it's time to actually use the machine. All right, I'm in the Xtool Creative Space software. So I'm using a digital engraving machine called the Xtool, specifically the Xtool D1 Pro. You can see here on the right-hand side, I have the option here to connect my device. Now I'm in the comfort of my home. I'm not in my workshop right now, so I'm gonna connect this device a bit later. But right now though, I'm gonna set up my actual template to do the cutting. Now I know that my my circle, my wood circle is a little more than seven and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna actually put in a shape here to start and it's gonna be a rounded square and I'm going to make it so that it's seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches. So I'm just gonna scroll this down to seven and a half. Okay, so there's my square, my seven and a half by seven and a half inches. So this square, I'm not actually gonna do anything with it. It's not gonna be a cut, it's not gonna be an engraving. And I have that option over here on the right. I can click score, engrave, and I could in, in therefore engrave all of it, actually make it a design that I could see, or I could even cut right through. So if I had a large piece of wood, I could cut out this shape. I don't wanna do a cut, I don't wanna do an engrave. I wanna do a score, but I'm, I'm only keeping it here to keep it 
the size of my design. I'm not actually gonna score it for real. So my power, instead of it being on 100, which would be a huge laser cutting through this and engraving it, I'm actually just gonna bring this right down to one and I'm gonna bring up the speed to 80 and we'll see when I'm actually out using my machine. This will just be so that I have a good understanding of how big my design is gonna be. Because remember, it's a circle that's gonna sit inside this square. Now I'm gonna go in and import my file. So I'm gonna click File, Import Image. And then I'm gonna pick my image right here, which is my wolf detailed. Okay, and there it is. So now I can make this a bit bigger. I can make this exactly centered. I can drag it. You'll notice the aspect ratio is locked, which is really nice. Now, if I wanted, I could actually add a shape and I could put a circle in just for reference. So I'm gonna just pick a circle here and I'm just gonna make it the same size here. I'll actually just get rid of my wolf design here for a second. I'll just move it off to the side. And then I'm gonna make this design here, this circle, I'm actually gonna make it quite a bit bigger so that it touches. So this is really the size of my design. So I'm only using these circles and these shapes just to give me a better idea of the actual, like where the design's gonna fit inside of it. So now I'm gonna put this inside. So imagine now that's the circle. So it doesn't look that big when I look at the square, but when I look at the circle only, that's actually gonna fit pretty good. So I'm gonna make sure this is centered now. Now I'm gonna remove the circle and that's gonna be my design there. Okay, so now I can simply go to File, Save As, and this will save as an untitled XCS project, which is just the file extension for the name of the software that I'm using. So I'm gonna put Wolf and I'm gonna call it Engraving and I'll click Save. Okay, so now let's jump over to the actual X tool and cut this awesome looking wolf. Okay, I'm in my garage and I've got my X tool set up and turned on. And basically an X tool is a laser machine and it can do engraving and it can also do cutting. I've got my computer set up now with my design. There's my design and I'm going to run a quick test on it. So what I'm gonna do now is click the little wolf and I'm going to turn off the output. And then I'm going to click the outline and I'm going to click on the output. So now it's only gonna be running this square. And then I'm gonna leave the power on two. And that's just like a little flashlight. And then I'm going to click process. And then here I've got an option to set the element in the middle. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to hit the start button. So we can see here when I click start, I'm now going to click the button. And we'll see that it's now doing a frame around where it thinks it's gonna go. So that is not what I want because you can see it's not centered. So I'm gonna click cancel. I had it on 10 passes. So what I'm gonna do now is reset this. I'm gonna move this into the middle where I think the middle of this wooden circle is. So I think it's about there. It's pretty close. So now I'm gonna run the framing one more time. So I'm gonna click process and I'm gonna click start and I'm gonna click this button right here. And I'm gonna watch it now go. It's not actually engraving, it's just going very close to the edges. So I'm gonna move this over to the right. So it's gonna to just touch the edge, just touch the edge, just touch the edge, and just touch the edge. So I'm gonna do one more time. And move this up a tiny bit. So it's just, the laser is just touching the edge of the circle. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick visual check there. That laser sitting in the middle of the circle. I'm happy with the way that looks. I'm gonna go over here to my computer screen now, click done. Now I'm going to turn off the rectangle. So I'm clicking that. I'm clicking off on the output. I'm gonna click on the wolf and I'm going to click on for output, maximum power. And now I'm going to process. So now we're gonna see some laser beams. Again, I've got this set to it so it's in the middle. 
The estimated time is 24 minutes, and I'm going to click Start. I recommend that you wear eyewear, sunglasses, or the protective lenses that come with X-Tool when this thing's running because it's quite bright. And if you stare right at it, it can be damaging to your eyes. So this just now runs for about 24 minutes, and it's going to basically, like a photocopier, it's starting to engrave with the laser machine. There's actually smoke coming up because it's engraving the actual wood with a laser beam. So we're moving along here pretty good. 16 minutes left and there's a little bar along the top that shows about how far along the process we are as well. There's my design and we're plugging away here pretty good. The X-Tool is doing its thing. Okay, it just ended. So it says complete and we can see there we're now back to the middle. So I'll just move this up and we can see there we've got a nice We've got a nice digital print there that's burned right into the wood. It's a tiny little indentation and you can actually smell burning wood, like a hickory smell. It smells pretty good actually. I think that looks really nice. So this is gonna make a great addition to my wall. I'm gonna make a set of these uh, with maybe a wolf and an owl and maybe another animal and that'll be a great nature print set for my living room or my kitchen or my bathroom or wherever fine artwork should be hanging. Overall, I really like the X-Tool digital machine. If you're interested in getting one, I'll put a link in the video description below. Again, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you wanna buy one, I would receive a small commission. I highly recommend the X-Tool. It's a really high-end laser cutting and engraving tool and I think it works out really well for a guy who's not an engineer like myself. All I wanna do is design and create. I don't wanna spend hours and hours learning how to use this. It's very intuitive, and I think the results speak for themselves. I really hope you found this video helpful.